Hey, what's really good YouTube tech jammo? Now we out here with the Razer Kraken X USB gaming headset. Now you guys already know Razer, big boy gaming company, bear gaming laptops, bear RGB, bear overpriced peripherals yeah <laughs> you know the company already now razor did actually send this out to me like they actually kind of aired me because i tried to contact them a couple times but it's okay because man got these as a christmas prezi from bay and thing in it so i thought brah man's been using them a couple weeks now let me delve into them and see what they're really saying and just for extra immersion you're actually listening to my voiceover directly from the headsets themselves yes all right so unboxing thing the box itself let's just pre that because that looks quite decent it's got that classic green and black razor logo color scheme going on now on the box it says 7.1 surround sound cardioid mic 40 millimeter drivers in each of the air cups you got a mute switch and a volume button on one side of the headphones apparently and you've got air tip lighting so not fully rgb but you should get at least a little bit of lighting in each of the air tips as for the unboxing and what you get inside you get some razor stickers you get a 7.1 sound code which you have to redeem which is confusing because the headset says that it comes with 7.1 surround sound you would assume that's built into the headset but it looks like it's a program that you have to redeem and download which means if you're getting these second hand you probably won't get access to that program because the first user may have already redeemed that code but that's something i'll just have to look into later on um you get your user guide in there and you get some yummy silica gel and obviously you get the headphones themselves pretty simple packaging once you get inside build quality the headphones don't feel too hefty they feel quite lightweight i can tell that the whole body of the headphones is plastic obviously on the outside of each air tip there's no touch controls but there is this cool little green light that lights up when the thing is plugged in it doesn't really pulse or anything it just lights up there's no patterns that you can set to it um it just does its thing there so yeah not really customizable um it would have been nice if it was rgb but that's exactly what you get now the microphone is cool um you can flex it around as much as you like the head adjustment is really good as well it's classified for big head people i feel like i can tell you guys that like man is captain big head out here so if it fits my head you're good fam and you've also got this kind of i'm not sure if it's fake leather but you've got this top bit where you've got some branding on the headbands there which looks really nice just to show and to stun that you got that young Razer headset. All right, guys, let's go into this Razer Synapse software. This is the first thing that you get prompted to download when you connect the headset in the first place. Um, I think it's just like a hub for all your Razer equipment, all the RGB lighting equipment in your household kind of thing. It all links it together. So perhaps it can be flashing in sync when you're gaming. That's what I'm assuming. We've also got some settings here for the stuff that you connect to it so like razor's own webcam um stuff like that it will all come up here now when you go here it tells you to download the 7.1 thing in it the activation code that i was talking about earlier and that is this thing here so i'm just going to install that all right guys quick little test right hand side we got the razor 7.1 software the thing that i had to redeem the thing that i razor up protecting with a redeem code and on the left hand side we've got some trailers from netflix so what we're going to try to do in this completely non-scientific test is listen to some of these trailers on netflix and see if they sound any different in the razer 7.1 surround sound software when i enable the surround sound mode so put on your headphones put on your airpods whatever you've got there and let's see what this sound is saying Turn it on. Sabrina's 
being tricksy. Your aunt Hilda worked very hard baking that cake. Yeah, that's your favorite one. Anzi, I'm not sure what happened. All right, so guys, we've come back to OBS because I want to show you the sound panel in the bottom left down here. And I want to also talk about the sound quality of the microphone in the headset. Now, I feel the sound quality is good enough for your Zoom calls, your Discord, and maybe your Skype calls. But in terms of content creation now, I think you'd want to go for a more dedicated microphone. And I'll tell you why. First of all, as you can see in the bottom left, the headset microphone is constantly clipping and there's no hardware button or hardware dial for me to turn that down. I have to do it through software in Windows 10. Whereas when I go to my dedicated microphone, at the moment I'm using the Maono condenser microphone for podcasting, but I also use the Elgato Wave 3. You can tell that immediately my voice is a lot clearer, it's a lot crisper, it's a lot more HD, it's more defined, it's deeper, it's more realistic kind of thing, isn't it? And that's okay, it's to be expected because this is a dedicated microphone. It's one job is primarily to be a microphone. The headset now, as the name suggests, is primarily supposed to be a headset which also has a microphone on it. I think in conclusion, I gotta bring things down to earth, guys. I've bashed the software because I've been spoiled by the Elgato Wavelink software, and I bashed the microphone because I don't feel it's as strong for content creation as a dedicated condenser microphone. But what you're left with is what they advertised it to be, a dedicated headset and microphone for chatting to your friends online. And that is what it excels in talking to your friends online in Discord, Warzone, whatever game you're playing, Skype, Zoom calls. That is where the strengths lie in this headset. And it's obviously got those cool LEDs there as well. But like I said, it's not really strong for content creation. And that's not really what this is advertised for. So that price point, that's litty. Yeah, that's litty, and you know you're getting a good piece of hardware because it's from Razer. So I'd say, I'd say jump on, guys. Honestly, I'd say jump on. That's a good piece of kit. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you liked the review. Hopefully it helped if you're looking at getting headsets for yourself. And leave a link or do leave a link. No, I leave a link. I, wait, yeah, do the do the uh, the thing where you subscribe to a man and like the video and hit the notification bell thing. A man's tired. All right, bless.